The U.S. Department of Labor files a lawsuit against the Idaho Falls School District. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Todd Coons. The Labor Department says School District 91 fired an employee for reporting asbestos cleanup concerns at Clary Gale Junior High School. Eyewitness News reporter Natalie Shaver spoke to that employee, Penny Waymiller. I was essentially fired for doing my job. Penny Waymiller was an environmental safety and health engineer for the Idaho Falls School District. Her job is to keep people in the school safe. That's what she believed she was doing when she told her school their plan to remove asbestos could cause the students harm. So they wanted you guys to do this while there were kids in the school? Yes, yes. Or when a parent sends their child to school, they expect it to be a safe place. They don't think they're sending their child to a hazardous environment. And I was appalled. One of the big dangers is that asbestos can cause cancer. It causes problems um, sometimes 20 or 30 years after exposure to it. Uh, it's it's a dangerous, and particularly boiler pipe, uh, the friable asbestos, you couldn't have stopped it. And, and asbestos fibers are really, really small. Way Miller says she loved her job, and losing it has been devastating. 20 plus years working at the site, um, it took me a year to find another job, and I took a $11 an hour pay cut, and I drive 100 miles round trip. So um, it's, it's, I have no retirement left. Despite all of this, Way Miller says no one should ever be afraid to stand up for what they believe in. In Idaho Falls, I'm Natalie Shaver. We called District 91 about this. They uh, referred us to their lawyer. We called, but uh, the lawyer was not in the office today. Two people tied to an attempted murder plot in Fremont County were supposed to be handed their sentences today. That did not quite happen. Eyewitness News reporter Tyler Berg 